Hello? 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 Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm back with another video. I'm staying so consistent and I'm glad you guys are loving it. Those two dislikes have really hurt my ego. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, for the third video, I think, yeah, the third video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an animated button. And there are a ton of libraries online, but I'm just going to show you guys how to actually implement it into like into anything that you're working on. It's really simple. Um, I'll be giving credit later on in the video, but this is how it works. So you got these four buttons created with the library. You tap it and you got those nice little animations right there. And they're pretty customizable. So you can mess around with the API and actually, um, or the library and actually make your own little animation. And it's got the bounce effect and everything. So let's begin. So I'm going to give credit to these guys. So Xhammer on GitHub, they actually created a really nice library that works very, very well. It's so easy to use and so easy to implement. And you can do it with any shape, actually. It, it's really cool. So these are their four default images. And it's very simple to install. Just use CocoaPods. Or you can use Carthage. 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. I use CocoaPod. I know how to pronounce that. <laughs> um, but you can also drag the source folder into your project. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to go into my Xcode project. Um, so now we're going to drag that source file here. Let's drop it over here. And we're also going to grab the... Uh, Let's just grab the source images as well. We can use any image, but let's just grab the source files. So this is the this is downloaded off of GitHub. So let's go over here. So if we just open this, it's got every single part of this animation organized very well. So you can actually mess around with this. So um, when I was working on my own projects, I actually built a vibration, which actually worked every time you hit animate or like every time you tap the button right and it's really cool it's very dynamic so now we're gonna go to the storyboard and actually just drag and drop a button um, you can do this programmatically obviously it's very simple to implement even with the API's I might make a video later on discussing this um, part. and the most important part change this to fave button class all right so now that you get this, you actually get a, a variety of ways to customize it in the actual Xcode GUI. But it's I think it's better if you just go around and mess with the actual library because you can create very cool stuff and you'll learn a lot. So now that we have this, we will take this, drag the delegate, and connect it. And now let's just make sure this is connected to the view controller. And now we're going to type in some code. So, uh, let's first create a function, just to simplify, just to make our lives easier. Um, then we'll return UI color. <clears throat> nope, that is not it. That is not what we wanted. Oh. I've been messing around with React Native recently, and I am so used to React Native. Like, I can't even type properly right now. So let's just enter all of this. And this actually, um, this is all on their GitHub. So you don't even have to watch the rest of my video. Honestly, you can just leave my video. You could leave a dislike if you want. You could do whatever. I'm just a leech. <laughs> and we will just copy all of this. What am I doing? Let's make the alpha CG float 100%. This is the 
something like this. And now we are good. So we just created that function to make our lives easier. Let's also add a fav button delegate. Okay. Let's add that there. When you drag the source files, they should be imported on their own. I'm gonna be making another video outlining, um, like just outlining what happens and what to do if that stuff doesn't pop up. So I'll be releasing a video very soon. Now let's uh, split up our views. Let's drag and drop this over here. So we're gonna call this heart button and the type needs to be fave button. So we'll just do that. Let's just make that optional that and we're good. So let's get rid of all this. Now let's create colors. So let colors equal, there's gonna be a lot of copy and pa copying and pasting. First, mm. and honestly, you can just you can mess up, you can mess around with these colors. And whatever pops up during the explosion of when you tap that, it would be these. So you could put in whatever colors you like. I'm just putting in the colors that were given in by default. Three, two, two, six, four, D. But I really, really do recommend messing around with these because um, you can learn a lot, especially with such a dynamic uh, library. Um, let's add five. Yeah, five is good. And now we will, what is this issue? Uh, nope. Now we will create a function. So func fave button did selected. Pick that one. And the code in there, let's just leave that blank for now. Fave button dot colors. And let's just make this, let's make this full screen. I don't know why I didn't do that. I'm still new to this all. I gotta learn all of this. Equal to heart button. Then return colors. And uh, if not, then just return no. So we should be good here. I don't know why I'm getting this error. Um, I know why I'm getting this error. So Um, this should run fine. Um, let's see. If it doesn't work, then I screwed up. But it's it's still very simple to implement. <laughs> it, it's still very simple to implement if you import it properly. So I just recommend using CocoaPause, just importing it, and you can mess a lot with this. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to implement this into a collection view or something like that. So I need to set constraints on this, but if you tap it, you get very nice colors. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.